So, now let me discuss another general consideration regarding the antimicrobials which is called as the super infection. Now, what is this super infection? Remember, it refers to the appearance of a new infection as a result of antimicrobial therapy. Right? So, if you take this particular super infection, it refers to the appearance of right it refers to the appearance of new infection as a result of right as a result of antimicrobial therapy right as a result of antimicrobial therapy appearance of the new infection is what is called as the super infection so what exactly will happen here remember like we have the normal microbial flora right so we have normal microbial flora within the intestines right we have the normal microbial flora which is present within the intestines remember this particular normal microbial flora will contribute to the host defense right this will contribute to the host defense now how it will contribute to the host defense is by development of what is called as bacteriosins right this microbial flora they develop bacteriosins this bacteriosins will be useful for the host defense against the microorganisms right so what the pathogens have to do pathogens also have to compete with the normal microbial flora for the nutrients right so what the pathogens will do remember pathogens will compete with normal flora right the pathogens they have to compete with the normal flora for nutrients right for nutrients now a point that you should remember here is what are those group of antibiotics which will kill the normal flora right what is super infection now super infection is appearance of new infection by the antimicrobial therapy now how does the super infection occur normally the microbial flora will develop bacteriosins which is responsible for the host defense now even the pathogens also they will compete with the normal microbial flora for the nutrients now if you give antibiotics right if you give certain broad spectrum antibiotics this broad spectrum antibiotics remember they will kill the microbial flora so once the microbial flora is killed then the bacteriosins will not be produced so there is no host defense and upon this there will be development of new infection which is called as the super infection okay so what are those broad spectrum antibiotics which will cause super infection now let me tell you that right so broad spectrum antibiotics they include tetracycline they include chloramphenicol and we have an antibiotic which is called clindamycin and we have an antibiotic called aminoglycoside group of antibiotics right aminoglycosides and as well as the ampicillin 
right and as well as ampicillin so remember broad spectrum antibiotics like tetracyclines chloramphenicol clindamycin aminoglycosides which predominantly cover gram negative organisms and ampicillin these antibiotics will kill the normal flora right remember these particular antibiotics they will kill the normal flora all right when these antibiotics kill the normal flora then there is no bacteriocin then there is no host defense and thereby there is development of new infection right thereby there is development of new infection which is called as the super infection right which is called as the super infection now another important point regarding the super infection is the super infection remember it is more commonly seen in immunocompromised persons right more commonly seen in case of the immunocompromised patients now there are certain common sites for the development of the super infection now let me tell you those common sites all right there are certain common sites for the development of the new infection the common sites they include oropharynx this is one of the common site next intestines another common site respiratory and genito urinary tract right respiratory and genito urinary tract these are the common sites for the development of the new infection now so if you take this particular organisms the organisms frequently involved in the development of super infection are candida albicans clostridium difficile staphylococci proteus and pseudomonas right so what you have to remember is the organisms which are frequently involved in the development of the super infection right one is your candida albicans right the other one is clostridium difficile next is staphylococci then we have proteus and then we have pseudomonas right then we have pseudomonas so these are all the various organisms which will be developing the super infection now we have an entity which is called as pseudomembranous colitis now let me tell you what do you mean by this pseudomembranous colitis this pseudomembranous colitis it results from the clostridium difficile super infection right this results from okay it results from the clostridium difficile super infection all right and which is the antibiotic which are the group of antibiotics which will kill the normal antimicrobial flora and resulting in pseudomembranous colitis is more commonly due to the third generation cephalosporins right so 
this occurs because of more commonly due to third generation right third generation cephalosporins now now if the individual develops this pseudomembranous colitis what is the drug of choice remember for pseudomembranous colitis which is developed due to clostridium difficile super infection the drug of choice is metronidazole right the drug of choice is metronidazole all right whereas alternative drug is vancomycin okay so alternative drug is what it is vancomycin all right next let me tell you one more example now you take the commensal flora right due to the loss of commensal flora there may be decreased formation of vitamin k right remember the flora which is present within the intestines they form the vitamin k now once this particular flora is killed by these antibiotics right by these antibiotics then the formation of vitamin k does not occur now once there is no formation of vitamin k there is no formation of the anticoagulants now once there is no formation of the anticoagulants if that particular patient is on oral anticoagulant like warfarin that will lead to enhanced anticoagulant effect of the warfarin okay so what i want to tell you another important point is right due to the loss of commensal flora there will be decreased formation of vitamin k right because of decreased formation of vitamin k the anticoagulant synthesis decreases right the anticoagulant synthesis decreases and thereby there is right thereby there is increased anticoagulant effect of the oral anticoagulant that is warfarin right there is increased anticoagulant effect of the oral anticoagulant that is warfarin so this is what is called as the super infection right let me shortly revise about the super infection appearance of the new infection in an individual when he is on any antimicrobial therapy is called as the super infection you see in a normal individual we have normal microbial flora within the intestines they contribute to the host defense by producing the bacteriocins all right now you take the pathogens the pathogens also they compete with the normal flora for the nutrients now if this particular microbial flora is killed by the microorganisms then the host defense reduces and that will result in the super infection now what are those antibiotics which will kill the microbial flora they include tetracyclines chloramphenicol clindamycin aminoglycosides and as well as ampicillin they kill the normal flora and thereby the host defense reduces and that is responsible for new infection and this particular super infection is most commonly seen within the immunocompromised patients and the common sites for the super infection is the oropharynx intestines respiratory system and the genito urinary tract the organisms which are responsible for the super infection is the candida albicans clostridium difficile staphylococci proteus and as well as pseudomonas the super infection with the clostridium difficile is called as the pseudomembranous colitis and that occurs mainly because of the third generation cephalosporins and for this the drug of choice is metronidazole and the alternative drug is the vancomycin all right now 
the another example is due to the loss of commensal flora there is decreased synthesis of vitamin k and thereby there is decreased synthesis of anticoagulants that will lead to increased anticoagulant effect if the patient is on any oral anticoagulant that is warfarin so this is completely about your super infection